Welcome to the global defense battle. The Ugram assault rifle is an advanced infantry weapon developed by India to meet the modern needs of its armed forces. Originating from India's growing defense industry, the Ugram is designed by Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited. It is developed as a successor to the Insys rifle, which had served the Indian military for years but was criticized for various performance issues. The Ugram's induction into the Indian Army started in the early 2020s as part of a broader push to modernize the infantry. On the other hand, the M4 carbine is a widely used assault rifle developed by Colt's manufacturing company in the USA. It originated as a compact version of the M16 rifle, which had been a staple of the U.S. military since the Vietnam War. The M4 was officially adopted by the U.S. Army in the 1990s to replace the aging M16 series, providing a lighter, more versatile weapon for soldiers. The comparison between the Ugram and M4 carbine is important because both represent the modern assault rifles of two major military powers. This comparison sheds light on the differences in approach, design philosophy, and capabilities between India and the U.S. in developing assault rifles for their respective armies. So let's start. Coming to the design first, the Ugram is designed with a focus on durability and flexibility, featuring a modular layout to adapt to different combat scenarios. Its body is made from lightweight polymers and metal alloys, which helps in reducing weight without compromising strength. The rifle comes with an adjustable and folding stock, making it ideal for both close-quarter battles and long-range engagements. Its Picatinny rail system allows for the easy attachment of various accessories like scopes, laser sights, and grenade launchers. Weighing around 3.5 kilograms, the Ugram is a bit heavier compared to some other modern rifles, but its overall length of 900 millimeters with stock extended and compactness when folded make it a versatile option for infantry use. On the other hand, the M4 carbine is a lighter and more compact rifle based on the AR-15 platform. It has a collapsible buttstock, making it ideal for urban warfare and quick maneuvers in tight spaces. Weighing only 2.88 kilograms, the M4 is known for its lightweight design, which improves mobility for soldiers in the field. The rifle's length ranges from 840 millimeters with the stock extended to 757 millimeters when collapsed, making it highly compact compared to many other rifles in its class. Like the Ugram, it features a Picatinny rail system, allowing for easy customization with various accessories. Both rifles are designed for adaptability and modularity. The Ugram is slightly heavier and longer, while the M4 is more compact and lighter. Talking about the rate of fire and magazine capacity, the Ugram typically comes with a standard magazine capacity of 30 rounds, which is the norm for most modern assault rifles. It can also be equipped with extended magazines, allowing for more ammunition capacity during combat, but this may slightly increase its overall weight. The rifle has a rate of fire of around 600 to 700 rounds per minute, which is considered moderate. The Ugram operates on a short-stroke gas piston system, which enhances its reliability by preventing excessive heat and carbon buildup inside the receiver. This system also helps in reducing recoil, ensuring better accuracy during rapid firing. The M4 carbine also features a standard magazine capacity of 30 rounds, similar to the Ugram. It, too, can be equipped with extended magazines for higher ammunition capacity, which is particularly useful in prolonged combat scenarios. The M4 carbine has a higher rate of fire, around 700 to 950 rounds per minute, giving it an edge in high-intensity firefights where quick and continuous fire is necessary. However, the faster rate of fire also means that it may require more frequent magazine changes and more controlled bursts to maintain accuracy. The M4 uses a direct impingement gas system, which directs gas from the fired cartridge into the bolt carrier allowing for a more lightweight design. While this system makes the M4 lighter, it can sometimes lead to more fouling and heat buildup, which may affect its reliability over extended use. When we talk about range and accuracy, the Ugram has an effective range of approximately 400 to 500 meters, which is suitable for most infantry combat situations. This range allows it to perform well in both urban environments and open fields. Its accuracy is quite strong, thanks to its gas piston system, which reduces recoil and improves control during rapid fire. The Ugram's modular design and high-quality barrel construction also contribute to its precision, making it a reliable weapon for soldiers in various combat conditions. Additionally, the Ugram features ambidextrous controls, such as a safety selector and magazine release, making it easier to handle for both right- and left-handed users. On the other hand, the M4 carbine has a slightly shorter effective range, typically around 300 to 500 meters, depending on the variant and conditions. 
In terms of accuracy, the M4 is also highly reliable, though its direct impingement gas system can lead to more fouling, which may affect accuracy over long periods of use without cleaning. The M4 carbine, like the Ugram, offers ambidextrous features, including a safety selector and magazine release, making it equally accessible for both right and left-handed soldiers. Talking about muzzle and stopping power, the Ugram is typically equipped with a flash suppressor as its standard muzzle device. The purpose of this muzzle attachment is to reduce the visible flash that occurs when firing, which helps conceal the shooter's position during low-light or nighttime engagements. Additionally, it reduces the amount of muzzle rise, improving control during rapid firing. In terms of stopping power, the Ugram uses a 7.62 into 39mm caliber round, which provides considerable force and penetration, making it highly effective against both armored and unarmored targets. The larger caliber of the Ugram gives it superior stopping power compared to smaller rounds, delivering more energy upon impact, which is crucial for disabling an enemy quickly. The M4 carbine, on the other hand, usually features a birdcage-style flash suppressor as its muzzle device. The M4 carbine fires the smaller 5.56 into 45mm NATO round, which is lighter and faster than the Ugram's 7.62mm round. Although the 5.56mm round travels at higher speeds, its stopping power is generally considered lower than the 7.62mm, especially when dealing with heavily armored targets. The 5.56mm round is designed more for speed and accuracy over distance, but it may require more shots to neutralize a target compared to the Ugram's larger caliber. Talking about the cost, the Ugram assault rifle is part of India's push for indigenous defense production, which helps reduce dependence on foreign arms suppliers. While the exact development cost of the Ugram has not been publicly disclosed, it is generally lower than many foreign-made rifles due to the domestic production process. India's government-funded defense companies, like Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited, focus on creating cost-effective solutions for the military. The cost per unit of the Ugram is estimated to be around $1,000 to $1,500, depending on the configuration and accessories attached. On the other hand, the M4 carbine has a much higher development cost due to extensive research, field testing, and technological upgrades over the years. The initial development of the M4 was built on the foundation of the M16, and millions of dollars have been invested in improving its design for modern combat needs. The cost per unit of an M4 carbine is around $700 to $200 for military contracts, though civilian versions or those with additional upgrades can cost more. The lower price point per unit, despite its higher development cost, is due to the large-scale production and the long-term contracts Colt has with the U.S. military. The Ugram is a relatively new entrant in India's defense arsenal, and its production numbers are still growing. Since its development was aimed at replacing the aging INSIS rifles used by the Indian Army, thousands of units have already been produced. Exact figures are not publicly available, but it is expected that the Ugram will see mass production in the coming years as part of India's Make in India initiative. The M4 carbine, on the other hand, has been in production since the 1990s, and millions of units have been produced over the years. It is the standard-issue carbine for the United States Army and has been widely deployed in various combat zones worldwide, including Iraq, Afghanistan, and other regions where the U.S. military operates. The M4 has also been supplied to other allied nations under military aid programs, further increasing its global presence. In addition to military use, civilian and law enforcement versions of the M4 have been produced, contributing to its widespread adoption. In conclusion, both the Ugram assault rifle and M4 carbine represent the strengths of their respective countries' military needs and design philosophies. Each rifle excels in different aspects, making them suitable for the unique combat environments they are intended for. Whether it's the newer Ugram or the battle-tested M4, both rifles showcase the innovation and development of modern infantry weapons. Which assault rifle do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.